All right, so I'm here at my hangar and I'm about to clean the underside of my aircraft. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like here. So if you look, you can see we've got a pretty good oil stain or oil glug. I mean, no gump or gunk or whatever. And uh, it looks pretty bad. Obviously, we got a lot of paint missing as well. Um, that is on the agenda at some point is to repaint this but first I got to get it cleaned up so that at least we can uh, see how bad it really is so we're gonna get started here so what I'm basically gonna be using today is release ultra uh, which is a dirt carbon and uh, just altogether degreaser kind of formula but is safe to use on the aircraft I also have a foamer here that'll be using and of course I got gloves so it's gonna be about a 1 to 20 dilution of cleaner to water and we'll use that and we'll spray it underneath the aircraft I'll show you guys what that looks like here in a second all right so I'm gonna use my foamer here and just kind of spray just a gentle coating and we'll let it kind of sit in and then we'll wipe it off with a microfiber cloth. Now in this first couple passes, what I'm gonna do is use a short ply towel here and wipe off. Let's see what this looks like. Oh yeah, look at that. You can even see where it's gotten in and where it's cleaned. So big difference. I'm gonna finish this section up and then we'll do a comparison side by side here. Now I'm going to use a 1 to 20 dilution of no rinse, also a good product. I'll use it on this panel as well to get the soapy residue from the Ultra off of it. So I did not realize kind of how bad this really was getting started today, but um, I'll just show you a comparison here. So this is a panel I just finished with this uh, one time with the Ultra and one time with the No Rinse. That's what it used to be. That's what it is now. That's what it used to be. This aircraft was not taken care of the way it should have been. That's, that's for sure.